good morning everyone good morning good morning good morning so today we're going to be talking about the narcissist harem garage all the dead souls that is in uh the harem garage waiting for the narcissist to pick them pick them back up again what is a harem garage a harem garage is for all the exes all the side chicks all the fun all the fun um um, sex bunnies <laughs> or any supplies in there that financially supported him gave uh, the hobo sexual um, <laughs> narcissist a home when he needed they're there for him no matter what whenever he come back he can go away and come back whenever he wants to listen just you don't be that person waiting in the harem garage blow that harem garage all the way up he can't even dare to entertain to even think about hoovering you, much less having you in our harem garage, all right? You will not be in that harem garage, okay? Because you're moving on with your life. Whether you have somebody else or not, you're living for Jesus, whatever it is that you're doing in your life now, moving forward after you're healing from narcissistic abuse. Don't you dare wait in that harem garage in his harem. Don't you dare wait there, because every now and then he hoovers you around the holidays. Whenever he's bored with the new supply, he'll hoover you. He will never ever go away. But if you blow, if you blow that harm garage um, up, you understand me by not entertaining him, by not answering the hoovers, by moving on with your life. You're so serious, he know not even to even, dear. So every now and then the narcissists have people that got away. You are the one that got away. That won't even entertain. Won't even think about. Look, hell. You, when you see the narcissist, you don't even give him eye contact because you know that's how he snatch your soul, okay? You don't even give him a smile. You don't give that narcissist no energy, no phone calls, no nothing. Listen, you forgive these people out of your heart, but you don't have to ever, ever, ever entertain these people, all right? Ever. So do not ever answer that Hoover because that's how he wheels you back in. Wills you back in with a hoover to say, hi, how you doing? Oh my God, once you give him a little emotion, he's going to call you every single day. Every day he's going to call you and um, trying to tap back into your energy. All right? Listen, the discard have, um, is up to you. you. You actually give the final get discard. So if you want to be a damsel in distress by waiting and waiting and waiting it's been 10 years i hear people waiting for this narcissist since 10 years still waiting why are you doing that why are you putting your life on hold so this one person on you are you kidding me nah you don't have to do that guys the world is big go out date have fun if you're not dating go travel go enjoy your life Go get a degree. Do whatever it is that you wanted to do. You don't have to sit around and wait for, are you a slave? Are you the narcissist slave? The narcissist slave is the ones that's waiting um, in the harem garage. They don't, they wouldn't even think about dating somebody else because they're waiting. They, they, they're being faithful to this narcissist that is not faithful to them. The narcissist cheated on them, lied to them, treated them like a piece of garbage. And they still sit in there feeling sorry praying for the narcissist um, and hoping for the narcissist to come back. But if you moved on, if you truly, truly moved on, you'll take your power back, okay? You'll take your power back and don't even entertain that demon, okay? Because that's exactly what it is, all right? Don't play with that demon because when he come back, uh, his demons are even seven times stronger, okay? All right, he's trying to find a house, guys. Don't let that house be your house. Read the book of Proverbs for me, please, guys. It has a lot of stuff in there about the narcissist and also Deuteronomy, okay? Listen, do not be in that harm garage. Shut the door and close it forever. Seal it all the way up. No one can open it, all right? That's all your heart needs to close up. Done, done. You're done with that. Done with that waiting. That was just a chapter in your life. If you, you know how come you go back in the harem garage? If you have the lesson that you didn't learn. You didn't learn your lesson yet, so you have to go back in there. 
there's a lot of people that didn't learn their lessons, so they have to keep on going back and back again. What are you not learning? This person has no empathy. They cannot love, they don't love you. It's a trauma bond, okay? You are addicted uh, to this narcissistic person. You are addicted. You had narcissistic people in your family, so they trained you, all right? Your situation is not gonna be better. There's tons and tons and tons of people in the same condition, um, long-term marriages, and never get better. You just all you're gonna do, guys, if you go back in that herm, is gonna continue the cycle again. The cycle of abuse, the narcissistic cycle. Let me see if I remember it. Um, which is, he's gonna love bomb you, love you like crazy. The only thing is, if you're in that harem waiting, the cycle is even shorter. It's not gonna be a long cycle. <laughs> um, and then they're gonna de devaluate you. The devaluation starts as soon as you even open that door, okay? And don't even, let's talk about the smear campaign. He's smearing you in the, in, he's smearing your name in the um, love bombing period, okay? You're getting smeared and you don't even know. You're smiling in this, this is why I cannot stand narcissistic people. They are so, um, what you would call, um, passive aggressive, passive aggressive type of people. They're aggressive, but they do it so subtly that you're going to miss it because you think this person, especially if they're a covert narcissist, they so quiet and hardly talk and always, you know, sneaky, sneaky people. I cannot stand aggressive, uh, passive, aggr just be aggressive. I, I prefer you to be aggressive so I could see you and know exactly where I stand with you instead of you being passive aggressive, um, being a little tender and everything, but in the background, in the, you're being tender, right? But in the background, you're really giving me daggers in my back. That is very dangerous, guys. There's so much to talk about with this narcissistic cycle. I hardly talk about narcissists anymore because it's so annoying. Like, ugh, it's too much information on the internet about it already. But every now and then when I get a download, I'll give it to you guys. Um, it's plenty. Of, they said it was 1%. It's more than 1%. I feel like it, it seems like a lot of people are narcissists out here in this society. And it's really scary. You don't know who to trust because they come in, especially like I said, if they're covert narcissists, they mimic your... Um, they mirror you, you know what I'm saying? So all you're doing is loving yourself, guys. You're so beautiful. Look how much love you give. Look how beautiful your love is. And then in the cycle of abuse, after the devalu uh, devaluation, they're gonna discard you. They're gonna discard you because now you start peeping through the mask a little bit to their mask. You start seeing who they really are. You start asking questions. And you, basically you start being a real human being and now, they're getting ready to discard you because what they're doing in the background with the smear campaign and everything, they're prepping a new supply. They're prepping the person to take your place, to take your spot. This is why they have so much people in the in the in the in the harem because they they hurt and injured so many people, lied to so many people, deceived so many people. So people in the harem garage is waiting for answers. Basically, they're waiting for closure. But you don't need no closure. Get the closure yourself. You see what you see, you heard what you heard, you felt what you felt. You don't need no more closure, guys. It is what it is. What you need for him to stab you really in your back, to poison you, to, for you to understand that this person is no good, that this person is a deceiver, and these people are psychopath, sociopath. Just be careful, guys. All right? Um, after they discard you, then they start stalking you all over again. They stalk you because they need to see your pain. They need to see how much damage they cause you. Isn't that insane? They need to see your pain because you know they're sadistic. They love it. They need to see your pain. They need to see you down on the floor, crying, bawling, trying to commit suicide. They need to see it. It makes them feel good. What type of person feels good off of somebody else's pain? Only a sociopath, psychopath type of person. Hello? which is the narcissist, okay? Straight up, guys. Like I said, because they're, um, the overts, I could get them because they're loud and you understand exactly who they are, but they look a sneaky, covert narcissist that smile in your face and give you daggers. You don't like them no time at all. Passive aggressive bumps, bumps. They got that mask on every, and if you ever uh, around the, the narcissist guys around in, in public, especially around their friends, you're gonna see they put on a different mask for everybody. 
I didn't realize that until the end of my relationship. Why? Because I wasn't paying attention. You know, when you're in a relationship, you actually trust somebody. Especially if you've been with somebody for 25 years. You're going to watch their every move? I didn't. Call me naive. You know what I mean? I didn't. You know? But um, that is an eye-awakening experience. And for my next <laughs> relationship, I watch everything. The narcissists tell you that they're going to work an X, Y time. Especially if they work in the morning, right? This is why I'm saying don't trust those covert narcissists. They live a double life, right? So the thing is, whew, so much to talk about. They tell you, they think you're so stupid. But empath, your antennas are always up. Always up. Especially if you, if they give you reason to, uh, to um, have them to have your antennas up. You understand? You're super intuitive, so you're going to pay attention to every little micro moves. Okay? All right? So... They tell you they're going to work at a certain time, right? And they do it, they do it uh, every single day at the same time. So why wouldn't you believe them? In the meantime, that's not their real work time. You know what am I work on? Them I work on them new supply. And I know my narcissists watch my channel. I know everything that you did to me. You heard every single thing. Because <laughs> they think you're stupid. They tell you they're getting up at a certain time to go to work, but they go... Who does this? Who get up out of their bed to go and sleep with their side chick's uh, new supply, right? And then have to sleep with her in the middle of the morning and then have to get up again to go to work. Like, look, look how hard that is. Like, who does that? Who, who in their right mind really do that? Get up, change their clothes, bathe, everything. Um, come out of your nice warm bed to go, even in the winter, to go. You see that? You see that they're actor. They think they're an actor on a movie set. Straight up. And to go on another person bed to do it all over again, just for the thrill, just for the thrill of it. Sick. Be careful, man. That's sick. This person do not love themselves, man. They do not. They do not love themselves. They have an issue that they need to sort out. And everybody in that harm garage is down and hurt. And this is why if you're around a narcissistic person that's doing that, to people and you don't know you, you you're so innocent you don't know what he did to his other victim he or she by the way I'm just talking because I'm a female um you don't know what they did to these other people but then when the other people come in his face you're trying to defend them but you don't know what's going on in the background you know mind your business you don't know what other people do to people so mind your business pay attention and learn that's what you need to do learn your lesson if you're seeing it with your own eyes do you think this magically person just show up to be angry with this uh freaking psychopath for no reason no the psychopath left the person for dead all right and that's why the person have to take that thing off their chest but i i suggest you guys do not go and fight in or not just dead it's done you don't have to do none of that Take your power back is what you need to do. Once that mask slip, just take your power back. You've seen it. Believe it. All right? Do not go back in that harem garage, guys. I don't like to talk about the subject because it's kind of like upsets me a little bit, you know, that you have somebody. I understand they have a, um, it's actually a spiritual attack, by the way. But in society, they say it's a, um, a, a personality disorder. It's demonic. Okay, definitely have spiritual things working in the background. You, you guys make sure you pray, okay? Anoint your head with oil. Pray 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning. Whenever God wake you up in the middle of the morning, it's for you to get up and pray. He's trying to talk to you. Get up and meditate. Even if you just do it for five minutes, he's going to give you answers in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night is when praises happen in the middle of the night, Okay? You ever heard about that midnight cry, honey? Crying out to God at midnight, ha! Huh? So he can talk to you, all right? He talks to you every minute of the day, but those special times, why it's so special? It's because normally people would just lay back around and go to bed, but if you answer God's calling, when he asks you to get up 12, three and five o'clock in the morning, he's gonna talk to you. He's gonna give you some downloads that you won't ever believe. That narcissist is cheating on you, he's gonna show you think you gotta ask that narcissist nothing you don't gotta ask him nothing god is gonna reveal it to you only if you tapped in all right Whew. happy new year guys leave your comment here have you been attacked by a narcissist passively 
a passive aggressive one, a covert narcissist? Have you been attacked by this person? Um, did you snatch the narcissist's mask off and now he's giving you a bad smear campaign, trying to smear your name all over the place? Um, share your experience down here. Uh, and the covert narcissist do not have to be a lover. Share your story. <laughs> Could be a professor, your neighbor, and those neighbors that are narcissists, man, they know you better than you know yourself. They watch your every move. Do you know that narcissists can read your body language? They study every little micro, micro move. They do. You don't got to say nothing. They study. That's why they know when you move moving different. And narcissistic people, they're hyper vigilant. So much to talk about. If you're out in the street with them, especially when they're ready to discard you in the end of the relationship, you're going to see their eyes go something like this. They scan in the room, they scan in the place. They just can't help it. They keep on scanning, especially in the end of the discord. I noticed that they scan and scan and scan and scan in the room with their eyes scanning. They can't keep still because they're looking for a new supply. They're looking for a new supply, guys. They scan their environment. They control the environment. Narcissistic people, wherever they are living, wherever they're at work and everything, they're trying to um, what they're trying to do is control their environment. They need to control their environment. You might not even see it because it's so subtle, but they do it. They're very sneaky guys. Covert narcissists, wop, wop, all the way. I'd rather see, um, I, and plus, in the end, by the way, in the end, the covert narcissist could switch from covert to overt. You're going to only see that in the end. They switch up so much to talk about and if you are in the Herm garage I know you know about that triangulation they show you the person that they're uh, that they're cheating with they show you the person because they put you in a love triangle they love it they so wicked 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 all right sad thing about it they don't even know some of them don't even know they're narcissists they just think this is a regular behavior because they've been doing it so long so evil. I'm sure they probably seen their father, their grandfather. This is what they, this is how they grew up. You know what I'm saying? In a house that accepts cheating. In a house that accepts lying and deceiving people. Yeah. Check it out. Leave your story here, guys. I'm done. Like, these narcissistic people. Stay away from them. You can't avoid them, really, but you gotta know how to handle them. Listen to your intuition. When they come around you, you're gonna feel them in your spirit especially if you've been attacked by one of them yeah i don't play with i don't play with uh i let them know i let them know and for some reason man you if you're an empath you attract these people in your life right now in my in my work environment i got several narcissistic it's about five of them in there i'm so annoying they gang up together you know what i'm saying very annoying I, but sometimes I could smile at them, but another time I just shut them down. When they're getting too out of hand, because it's like something about them, like when um when they get hyped up, oh my God, they can't stop. It's like a comedian on stage um, that is getting a lot of uh, claps and a lot of hoorays. They just keep amping it up. And I'm like, listen, just please. I had to shut them down sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, guys, leave your comment, like, and share. Top of the new year, okay? The downloads are coming in. Thank you guys for having me.